I'm Jimmy Lee from 32 Choppers here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, this is Junk Pile here. Junk Pile started because uh, Bill Conway, the owner, he got tired of just sitting around the shop and he decided he wanted to build a bike. And he said, if I just start piecing together some stuff, we'll just get it out of the junk pile and we'll, and we'll build something. Junk Pile was from a donor bike. Uh, three guys driving around a old 1980 FXB in the back of their truck trying to sell it. And uh, we talked him from $6,500 down to $2,000. He was a fast talker and he would be like, I'm at 3,500, man, 3,500. 3,500, that's about as low as I can go. And I said, man, I'm probably at two grand. Man, I don't know if I can go two grand. Two grand is kind of low, but you know, you know, I could probably do two grand though. If I did two grand though, you know, so it was one of those guys. This is just a really nice restoration is what it is. And the idea was to clean it up as much as we can. Now, Bill laughs at me because Bill, Bill wanted to do this and I kept doing this with it. We kept cutting tabs and man, as long as we're here, why don't we do this? And Bill's like, no, 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 let's, let's just keep it the Harley. And I said, well, it's gonna be the Harley, but as long as we're building it, let's just build something special. The oil tank, we actually, that's just a moon oil tank that we've, we've, uh, we've been using those since, I think the first bikes we ever built in 2003. We've had that one laying around the shop. Someone had dented the, the side of it. So to fix the dent, we actually cut it in half. And then we realized when we were putting it back together, we should take some of the, 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 the length of it out so we could get it inside the, inside the frame rails. How are we gonna mount that? We're still having the seat mount and it's, that's kind of the process of building bikes, right? How does everything come together? It takes a lot of work to make something look so simple. The execution of, of a project like that, where ev everything's in line and everything's clean, all the, you look at the oil lines, they all are lined perfect. The, the brake lines run the frame, the, everything's kept in keepers so that you just don't have the, the lines flopping out. We designed our own uh, dual caliper brake for the back. A lot of guys do that. It's not like we didn't invent anything, but we, but we came up with one for the little uh, two piston brake. The hand controls are actually both brakes. So on this bike, it's a right foot clutch, uh, jockey shift. You can see the jockey shifter. And then uh, uh, I think the left one's the rear brake and the right one's the front brake, but they're both on the back. Started making these inserts for, for the exhaust. You always get pipes that don't come together nice. So you got One's perfectly inch and three quarter and the other is just a little bit bigger. So when you're cleaning the welds off, it's a pain in the ass. So I started trying to come up with a way that we could weld them together, but we don't have to clean the welds basically. And so I started making these inserts, these slotted inserts. And uh, so the pipe kind of inserts into that fitting and into that fitting. And then you just kind of uh, nice, nice weld around the outside. And now you've got some design in the pipe and it tied it all together. Uh, Gary Queen from Other Side Customs in Dallas. He's painted for us for uh, 17 years now. And he always knocks it out of the park. And I'm real particular. Like I tell him what I want and, and he, he makes it right. Uh, this is Jimmy Lee from 32 Choppers in Fort Worth, and I'm never invited on Shop Talk. Is that what I was supposed to say? <laughs>